Okay, what is up guys, my name is Fan Ninja Turtle, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the awesome gun effect I did in the bitch edit. And um, all it is, is this effect right here, so one second, here it comes, this gun effect right there, and it also happens right there, and it also happens right there. So yeah, the last one pointed out, uh, people point that one out the most, so let's just get straight into it. So all you're going to need is... Oh, where my mouse go? It keeps disappearing. Okay, I definitely need a new mouse. Hopefully, I get one for Christmas. Okay, so all you're gonna need is a picture somewhat like this. I'm not allowed to give this to you guys because my friend gave it to me and he doesn't want me to give it to anyone but him and myself. So I can't give this to you guys. Sorry, but you guys can find something like it. All he did to get it was type in like wing thing or like a uh, wing streak or like angel streak light or something like that on Google Images and he found it and it looks pretty sweet so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that effect really quickly so I just gonna drag this wing thing into my twixtered layer or whatever and you wanna have markers already and everything so here we go and two and let's alt close that and um, yeah so then you wanna go your blend mode if you don't have it up which I'll do right now just close that it's like this and you hit F4 and you just want to make blend mode add then you want to hit R in rotation I'm gonna drag this I put 140 uh, and if you guys hear a hammer in the background I have a handyman doing something downstairs I don't really know but uh, it's a snow day so I feel like making a tutorial so I'm gonna hit S for scale and I'm gonna make this 90 then I'm gonna unhook it and make this 70 then I'm gonna hook it again okay so then I'm just gonna leave it then I'm gonna hit V, select like my, my uh, selection tool, I'm just going to drag it down here, and then very quickly I'm going to hit G for, um, what's it called, pen tool, then you want to hit H um, to drag this here, I didn't actually need to hit G there, I was just saying I was going to make a pen tool or whatever, let's drag it over a bit, okay, then you want to get your pen tool and you just want to mask around the gun, it's that simple, I know, then you just want to do it really quickly, do 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 do, Oh, that was bad. Okay, then I'm gonna hit F for feather. I'm gonna make this 80 pixels. I know that's a lot, but it makes the gun look pretty sick. So yeah, as you can tell, it's pretty sweet. Then I'm gonna um, turn off this layer. I'm gonna hit M for mask path, and then I'm gonna. Um, oh damn it! I hate that. I hate that feature in Windows. I'm just gonna hit V on my selection tool. V for my selection tool. Whoopsies. And I'm just gonna drag all the points in. So it looks really nice. So like if you have the layer on, this is gonna be a lot harder to do because the layer isn't that see-through. But if you have it turned off, you can see the mask points. Then what you want to do is you want to go over about five keyframes. So all you gotta do to do that is control, you gotta hold control and click the arrow key five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Then just drag the keyframes where they match the gun's frame. So let's just do this really quickly. I'm not going to do it for the whole duration of the effect because I need to do some homework and that would take me too long and for tutorial purposes there's no point you guys can do it yourself okay so there you go and then just go over five more one two three four five okay so as you can tell it just follows the gun if you mask it properly let's do this really quickly da -da 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 -da. If you guys have any other suggestions for tutorials, I think I might do the glitch effect I did. It's not really noticeable in the edit itself, but once I point it out, you guys will be like, ah, that's cool. Okay, so I'm just going to stop there, and I'm just going to turn the wing thing on. And now you can see it's kind of, if we drag it through, it matches the gun, like the mask, but it doesn't, like, turn or anything. So you got to do that is go to effects and presets, type in turbulent, displace, drag it onto your gun, your gun effect thing, make the amount to 25 or you can put more if you'd like, and evolution at the at your first marker, ah oh, damn it, your first marker um, hit evolution keyframe, then when you're done your effects, so that's at my two marker, I'm gonna put it to two because I like to have two uh, evolutions for one second, one second because it looks pretty cool so if you have for evolution for two seconds I think it looks pretty cool if there's more evolutions in seconds because it just makes it go cray cray so that's about it for that then what you can do is type in looks 
magic bullet looks, just drag it onto your gun thing and then hit edit. Quickly, I'm just going to drag on this one, something like that. I really just want something quick. And there we go. So now it looks pretty sweet. You can use whatever magic bullet look preset you want, of course. Okay, now, as you can tell, it is waving and it's on the gun. And it's got a very nice, pre uh, very nice color correction on it. So I'm just going to drag this here. I'm going to do a very quick RAM preview. So as you can see, it just follows the gun. And if you do it for the whole duration, it looks pretty sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial. All you're going to need for it, uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, is a picture somewhat like this. Not the exact same because I can't supply it unless you find it on Google Images yourself. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm really happy with... Um, the support I've been getting lately on the bitch edit, of course, and the two tutorials. People have really liked them. So, um, yeah, 365 subs is pretty good. Considering I've been doing YouTube for about a year, this is when I like made my account, but I didn't actually start posting uh, that day. So, yeah, I've been doing it for about a year now, and that means I've gained one sub per year, uh, one sub per day, which is pretty cool. So, th thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, and I will see you guys sometime soon. Uh, with another tutorial. See you guys. Bye.